Hey guys, this is Tutorials Master, and I just recorded this video once, but my stupid computer, something's messed up, I'm going to have to search for it, um, something's messed up on my computer, every time I start my computer, there's this thing, um, I don't know what it's called, it's called like MRCSS or something, and um, I don't know. And every time I turn on my computer, it pops up and it says, you have um, media RSS or whatever it's called, um, can't run and stuff. And so ever since that happened, um, my programs have been like shutting down and coming back up. So right when I was saving this recording from before, it closed the program. And when I uh, open up Camtasia, that's what I use to record, it recovers it, and it says cannot recover data. So I'm kind of screwed with that. So I'll just record this again. So this tutorial is on um, ripping DVDs. I told you that in the last tutorial. So um, there's a couple programs out there. Actually, there's very many programs out there that let you convert DVDs. But we're just I'm gonna focus on one. The old one I used was free D V D Ripper. Um two point two five. And every time I open it, um it wouldn't show this usually, but for like a long time it would say, Can't read disc, please try again. And eventually it said this. Um it just won't open it. So, what I use now is Magic DVD Ripper. It's not free. It does cost money, but it's worth it. I, I'm serious. It is, and um, it cost about thirty dollars, maybe fifty dollars. I can't remember what I paid, but it's pretty good. Um, so I'm just gonna go over this. Um, it's pretty standard, but it doesn't actually rip the file like the VOB files and the TSF or whatever they're called it actually rips it and converts it all in one so you don't get stuck with a bunch of random files you can't open it just converts it while it's ripping it so uh, let's go over this now you have the title make sure you choose the right title mostly the movie would be the longest title there and the rest will be the special features and the menus um, so I just chose the longest title which is the matrix which is two hours and nine minutes six seconds so um, NTSC 33 chapters and then you got the audio the English or French that's the only one provided for this the angle now not a lot of movies have angles and um, like every DVD I have it doesn't have an angle at all in it it just has one angle I don't even know if I don't even know why they made the function cuz like no DVD that I've ever had has angles. Um but anyway, then you have subtitles and the ones they provided are there, English, French, and Spanish. Um usually I put no subtitles cuz they're usually delayed a lot, so yeah. I just leave it at no subtitle. Now the output um, this is the that was the input that tells you everything and well first you have to browse for your DVD but mine already knows where it is and so now here's the converting options you have Apple TV AVI iPod original MPEG 2 PSP SVCD which is MPEG 2 again VCD MPEG 1 and WMV and then you can pick from other ones and you can actually uncheck other ones too and um... so i usually convert to avi and ipod but my editing programs can't support uh... the avi for some reason it thinks it's just audio or the opposite it thinks it's just video so i usually convert it to ipod for my ipod and original mpeg2 and svcd mpeg2 I don't think there's much of a difference, but it 
rips a lot faster if you use the original MPEG-2 because it doesn't have to convert anything. So I usually um, convert it to original MPEG-2, iPod, and AVI. And then you got the split mode, which is the size. And you can do um, infinite, which is uh, infinite size if you don't care what size. And then it has... Um, a s then it has 74 minutes VCD, 730 minutes, 730 megabytes. And then it's got other ones. And then custom size, you just type in the size you want. And if the movie is over two hours and you set it to a low megabyte, it'll split it into two um, types, or it'll split it, split it into two videos. So I usually uh, leave it to. 80 minutes if it's under 2 hours or 74 minutes either of these and um, if it's over 2 hours set it at infinite if you want one file but if you don't care if it's two files set it to one of these or custom size or the or by chapter which rates it by the chapter and it'll split it into separate videos by the chapter so I'll have like 33 parts if I rip this but I usually have an infinite because I don't care um how much stuff I'm being ripped but I only have like 4 gigs left on my computer. If you want to see how many gigs are left on your computer, just go to your C and over and it says um free space and I only have 4 gigs. I'm going to invest in an external hard drive. There's a 360 gigabyte hard external hard drive for like $100 at Walmart. So I'm probably going to buy one. And then you can name it to the DVD, you can name the title, and then, yeah, and then, um, you can start it, and if you want, you can shut down your computer when it's done, but then you just click start, and another thing that I like about this better than all the other ones, is if you go to, well, first you can choose a priority to high, normal, whatever, but, um, if you go to setting, um, settings, and you can change the preview quality. I'm pretty sure you can do that on the other ones. Um, I just leave it at normal. And then if you go to backup, um, there's a bunch of options, but well, not a bunch, but you know. Um, now, the main reason I got this, I mean, I um, looked for this, uh, looked for one everywhere, is because my dad bought a DVD. And it, he bought it in the Philippines, and it's a U.S. DVD anywhere. Um, like you can buy it in the U.S., but he was there, so he bought it, and it worked over there. Um, and stuff. But when we got back over here, it said region code area error. Please check your area. And so we couldn't watch it. We could only watch it on our computer and stuff. And we wanted to watch it in DVD players. So um. This will rip and ignore the region code, and then if that that doesn't work, it has an advanced region code ignoring, which it ignores it better in case the first one didn't work, and um, and it removes the protection. Like if it's protected, it'll remove the protection, and so the main reason I wanted this is because it removes the region code, and um, um, and another reason is my sister's um wedding dvd um hers her copy of the dvd didn't work it like stopped working and our copy that we got um it only works on a computer so i got this and ripped it and burned it back on a dvd and i'm going to send it to her and that's uh, another reason i got it but it does cost money sorry guys it does i gotta break it to you but it doesn't cost that much. It costs 50 which is pretty reasonable for what it can do. But, I know you very evil people. You can, um, I'm sure whatever those are called, I'm pretty sure they're called torrents. Um, you can probably find one somewhere and find it, but buy it. It's the better way, and you don't get arrested if you get caught. So, yeah. That's all I gotta say, and uh, I guess I'll see you guys. And I'm gonna have about two more tutorials out, maybe one today. So, yeah, I will see you guys.